We're here we're here at uh, Overland Expo. We got our start in 2008. Jay Rogers, our CEO, um, felt like there wasn't enough automotive innovation in the industry. If you can think about how long it took Bluetooth to get in cars, how mm -hmm. long, just how long it takes them to, to move. Now, the, granted, they are powerful companies, but they are glacial as right. far as how, how, how long it takes them to react to something. So uh, he's a Harvard grad, a Princeton grad, and uh, he also he also has them. Um, 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 Harvard grad, okay, I guess I kind of messed it up. He's Harvard grad, Princeton grad, and he's also a Marine. Uh, he's a he was a scout sniper platoon commander, which is no small feat. Mm -hmm. But um, he started this company in 2008. He submitted a business proposal in, uh, in in partnership with another man. I can't remember his name right now. But uh, to Harvard Business School business uh, plan competition, and he won. And from that point, uh, he knew he can get this thing rolling. Mm -hmm. uh, from that point, he used the internet to leverage whatever we're trying to solve. Um, now we've got a 20,000 people community. This wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago, but we use that community to solve our problems mm -hmm. and other companies' problems too. It's a lot better to get 20,000 designers in a room um, for affordable cost than it is to actually. Um, you know, sit 50 people in a room, put them to work for five years, where you've got the guy who went to school to, uh, for design for four years, and you've got him designing the speedometer, and you know, that's a waste of talent. Right. Right. So uh, the way our website is set up, people submit designs, um, and we may or may not ask for them. I mean, it, it, in some cases, we have design competitions. In other cases, it's just, you know, a place where you can store your work and ask for help as far as, like, hey, what should I be changing with my, mm -hmm. my design? Um, the ultimate realization of that was the rally fighter behind me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Sango Kim was going to school in Pasadena, California, and uh, which is great. He wasn't working at Ford for 20 years, right. and then he finally got to design his car, and then it was you know ramshackled and run through its course by the accountants. Oh, well, that's too expensive. You can't do that kind of shape. It's not manufacturable. Um, no, in our case, we, we try and stay as close to that person's vision as possible. And short of building your own automotive company like Pagani, mm -hmm. uh, you can't you can't do that today. Right. Um, so, so what is in it for a community member? Is it just, uh, wow, I designed the logo and you know that's in my portfolio now? Well, um, for in, in Tangle Kim's case, he got a monetary prize. We uh, mon uh, we, we uh, compensate them with money. Um, uh, if we're hosting uh, some kind of design competition, or we take their design and do something with it. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, it's a heck of a lot of notoriety for that. I mean, yeah. as far as like, that's a heck of a thing to put on a resume. I built, I had my own car built by a company. I didn't right. build it in my garage, right. you know? That's one thing, but to have a company build your car, that's another thing. He was hired by GM Korea that the, week, the next week after he graduated. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so um, what's beautiful about the company um, and the community is no matter how strict the set of requirements, um, they always rise to meet the challenge. For, for the racer here, I, I believe uh, 168 designs were submitted, and uh, um, we had some really strict rules. They had to use part of the Sportster frame, they had to use the engine, the Sportster engine, uh, compared to the Rally Fighter was more open. Mm -hmm. And this was, this was uh, despite the, what you would think is restraining requirements, uh, every design was significantly different. I mean, it was amazing. It was definitely one of our best competitions as far as like the range of, of designs that we were receiving. Uh, that is the smallest air filter I've ever seen. On a yeah. Bike. <laughs> yeah. So, so the the air intake. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. The, on the other side, the air intake was actually 3D printed in our factory. The big scoop there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Now I heard that there's a 3D vehicle in the future from you guys. Yeah. So right, the, the 3D printed vehicle. Yeah, the DDM car project. So uh, International Manufacturing Technology Show, which mm -hmm. is um, I think it's every two years. They always display like it's it's a place where like machinists go and like you can buy CNC mills and all kinds of. You want to see what's coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, last year or maybe the year prior, it's kind of getting kind of fuzzy, but we actually built a rally fighter live over the course of five days on the, on the show floor. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if many OEMs that could do that. This year, we're turning it up a notch. Now we're going to be 3D printing a car uh, using a carbon fiber ABS composite in coordination with Oak Ridge National Labs. Um, they're a lab that constantly works on new technologies. Um, and they could go to other companies like GM and Ford to do the same, like work with them to, mm -hmm. to leverage those technologies. But those companies are closed. If you wanted to go and download all the data on their cars and build it yourself, you would not be able to do that and they come looking for you. But yeah. we're a complete opposite. You can go on our website right now and every nut and bolt, as far as the Rally Fighter is concerned, or the bike, you can see everything. Man. And you can build it. And it's kind of ironic because they think they need to protect these things. Yeah. You know, and we've gone in completely the other direction and nobody's, nobody's done anything. 
So, so tell me about the DARPA ambulance. All right, so the DARPA XC2V flip mode, that was our first foray with another company using our community to solve another company's problems. DARPA wanted to see, I don't know how familiar you are with military vehicle programs, but the, uh, the, uh, the Humvee was actually developed over the course of uh, like 15 years and designed with a 20 year lifespan in mind. It doesn't make sense when we can be in Afghanistan one day and the Horn of Africa another. I mean, it's not the same environment. Right. Um, so they wanted to see if we could develop a vehicle in a tenth of the cost and a tenth of the time uh, in a traditional process. They gave us 14 months to develop, design, and produce a vehicle. We did it in three uh, with the power of our community. Wow. And the great thing is, I mean, it's, it's much more affordable than a traditional method. If you can think about how much would it cost to hire 20,000 designers, you know, even if not all of them were great. So what is uh, the more valuable thing for DARPA, the vehicle that was designed or, or learning about the process? The process. This? They were coming yeah. to us for the process. Uh -huh. um, so since then, they've, they've gone and um, done this thing called the Vehicle Forge, which is similar to what we do. Mm -hmm. However, it's different in that the cash prices are much, much higher. They're looking for high quality work. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't, I'm not sure... If it's working for them or not, I haven't been keeping up on it. I mean, because they're trying to build fast attack, like tanks and that kind of thing, you know. Uh -huh. um, when we were, we were just looking for a vehicle, uh -huh. a little vehicle. Um, they also don't have, they're not using the community like we do. So I don't know, I don't know too much about that. That's uh -huh. what they're doing. But they really wanted the process, and obviously it worked. We also did this an another, uh, more recently, uh, another project with the Army, U.S. Army Rapid Equipping Force called Army co create Instead of vehicles, they wanted to get an, uh, a website, a white label version of our website, where you collect ideas, you collect problems and solutions, and these soldiers in the field can get connected with engineers right away. Great example. Uh, so here, uh, the problem right now with U.S. Army and bureaucracy and the way it's all structured, if you had a great idea uh, that would actually help people in the field, it would take you seven years just to get a prototype, not not actually out in hand, right. just seven years. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. So um, they came to us and we created U.S. Army Co-Create. And uh, a great example is we had a medic in uh, South Korea on our website and he had, a, he, he had an issue as far as keeping pressure on a wound and he would have to tape it down with uh, gauze, but he only had one hand to get that roll of tape. So in 17 hours, we came up with a prototype that fit in a magazine pouch that was essentially a tape dispenser that he could use one hand. That's very cool. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. So, I mean, the internet is there. This company wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago yeah. without the internet. So it's really exciting. Well, I mean, it's a disruptive thing, number yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and I could just see other companies doing the same kind of thing. Uh, yeah, and you, if you go online and you, you look up like co-creation, well, not co-creation, but like open source vehicles yeah. or, or co-funded vehicles, other companies have tried it. Lincoln's tried it. Hyundai has tried it. Um, the thing is that they don't understand is you have to have a community. You yeah. can't just <coughs> build your website and expect people to just start helping you. Yeah. You know, you've got to have this culture. Well, and, I, I, and, and that being said, our, our local community is a big part of our company too. We've since gone and uh, launched LM Labs, which is a space that we're really excited about um, because we know that there's people out there that want to build cars. They want to learn right. how, to, how, to, how to make. Um, and that's a great example with the Rally Fighter. People come to our factory for five days and they, or six days and they actually help build the car mm -hmm. with us. So we know that demand's out there. So LM Labs is going to be a space, or it is a space, where you can go. So this is your LM Labs logo down here? Well, no, that's is just the Local Motors logo, and that's actually oh, okay. Sango Kim's, uh, the guy who designed the car. That's his signature. It's awesome. On every, it's on every car. 